Kaboom. So midfielder is an ultra rare, and you're going to play three of this guy. So three ultra rare cards. What else? We have penalty box and UA Stadium. If you guys want to follow along with me on the, you know, these cards, you can look at the leaks. They're on the website, okay? Front page of the website, right here, data mine leaks. So um you penalty box, UA Stadium, and midfielder this is an expensive deck it's the same expense of oh my wait i'm sorry i did not know infantry was super rare what <laughs> i thought just marksman was super rare so god damn this is expensive to build like a mermail or atlantean deck okay i thought just marks was because the snowman meter was in the way okay so uh ultra athletes that's what ua stands for is three cart two super rares and an ultra rare let's talk about the whole deck type now this is the only level four or lower monster this is the only monster you can normal summon without tributing or special summoning so let's look let's just to quickly show you that we have a level five a level six a level seven and a level eight and that's the full monster roster that's everything you have just this to normal summon if you want to summon any of these other ones, you're going to have to special summon them through already having an ultra athlete on the field, or you're going to have to tribute summon like using cyber style, using soul exchange, because the spell and trap does not help you summon these. You're going to have to use outside help or just have this on the field. So now that we got that out of the way, you could special summon this card from your hand by returning one ultra athlete monster you control to the hand, except midfielder. Now they all have this same effect. They all could special summon from the hand by returning an ultra athlete of a different name to the hand. And it's all main phase one, all of them. Same exact thing. During either player's turn, you could target one other ultra athlete monster you control Return that face-up monster to the hand, then special summon an ultra athlete from your hand with a different name from that monster. You can only use this effect of midfielder once per turn. So you could have two midfielders, two of them, and on your opponent's turn or in your battle phase, you can attack. You could then return that monster back to the hand for a different ultra athlete monster. Okay? So this is like a really good card. Yeah. And you summon him, immediately goes back to your hand for one of these, and then you could summon him again next turn. So if you have this plus plus three of these in your hand, you could turn one, normal summon this, just put it back to your hand, a special summon this immediately through his effect. Then next turn, you normal summon him again, and then special summon another. So it's so important to draw this card. It's so important. Sangin searches, right? <laughs> Maybe you want Sangin. Maybe you gotta play Sangin. There we go. Um, on This is the only card you can normal summon regularly. And then if you have another ultra athlete, you can return it to your hand to special summon another ultra athlete of a different name whenever you want. Great. Now let's talk about penalty box. Penalty box. At the start of the damage step, if your ultra athlete monster battles an opponent's monster, you can banish that opponent's monster until your opponent's second standby phase. You could only use this effect of penalty box once per turn. Also, if it's in the graveyard, you could banish it from the grave to add a stadium to your hand. Okay? In the grave, you could banish to add this. Otherwise, it's on the field. If you go to battle, it's like Onslaught. So let's talk about Onslaught with this. Onslaught. So Onslaught versus penalty box, which one wins? And Amazon is attacking my midfielder. And I have a penalty box and he has an onslaught. I win. My penalty box will banish the Amazon until the end of their second standby phase. It will come back onto the field, but it's only once per turn. Even if I have multiple penalty boxes, if I have three, it don't matter. Once per turn, one banish, they're going to swing in with their second Amazon monster and it will destroy my midfielder or banish it with Onslaught. 
Okay, so once per turn. Now that you got that, but otherwise, you know, it does beat out Onslaught. So that's pretty cool. UA Stadium. So you could banish this to search Stadium. What's so good about Stadium? If a UA monster is normal summoned to your side of the field, now remember, you could only normal summon this without outside help. So if you normal summon mid midfielder, which is like, you see, it's so much focus on having this card. Like this card's already good enough because it summons all of your guys from your hand. But now it's even better if you have this card with Stadium. You play Stadium and then you normal summon midfielder, then Stadium effect triggers. You get to search your deck for any ultra athlete monster and add it to your hand. Anything. Also, once per turn, if an ultra athlete monster is special summoned to your side of the field, your monsters gain a permanent 500 attack. So, ready? Here's the play. I only have two cards. That's it. I have midfielder and stadium. I play stadium. I normal summon midfielder. I search my deck for mighty slugger. Then I use Mighty Slugger's effect to return Midfielder to my hand. I Special Summon Mighty Slugger. Mighty Slugger is now 2800 attack thanks to Stadium, and it's permanent. Now, if I have two Midfielders on the field, and on my opponent's turn, I could return one Midfielder to Special Summon Slugger. On their turn, I just gained an attack boost. So you could also do it in the battle phase. So you're going to be thinking about battle phase plays with midfielder and gaining 500 attack. Now the 500 attack gain is once per turn. You can't, you can't special gain 500 and then return back with midfielder to special gain, gain another 500. So I can't do that. Okay. So now you know how stadium works. So if you want to play your second field spell to get the special summon effect again, to, uh, to gain 500, you could do that. Okay. So these are the, oh, that's it. This is the ultra rare, super rare, super rare. Now let's talk about the monsters that are all commons and normals. Ultra athlete, mighty slugger, level five. Remember all their effects are special summon onto the field by returning an ultra athlete. Uh, okay, you could, and also you could only special summon them once per turn uh, that way. So you can't just keep looping them, you know, summon, 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 summon. If this card attacks or your uh, if this card attacks your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. So, if they have an onslaught, you could summon Slugger, you could swing in. They cannot activate onslaught and they cannot activate wall of disruption. So, if you want to play around wall D or play around onslaught, Mighty Slugger, that's going to deal with it and Mighty Slugger will be 2800 attack with Stadium. Next up, Rebounder. Rebounder is uh, kind of exciting. So Rebounder, 2200, def 2200 attack, 2300 defense. This is a weak 700. Okay, Rebounder, what does this do? If this card is normal summoned, so you tribute summon, you could special summon an ultra athlete from your hand or graveyard. Okay, so Slugger's in the grave and this is on the field. Instead of returning it to my hand, a special summon, I decide to tribute summon it. So I tribute summon it, then I activate its effect to special summon it back onto the field, or I could special summon a mighty slugger from the graveyard onto the field. Now, his effect that triggers only on normal summon can also happen on special summon only if you special summon it on your opponent's turn. So if you have two midfielders or a midfielder and another UA monster on your opponent's turn. When you return the other monster to your hand with midfielders effect, you special summon rebounder rebounder could special summon from the grave or from the hand. So the monster you return back to your hand can come right back on the field. And they have three monsters on the field with rebounder effect. Okay. Now we have dunker. So these are all one tributes. You could tribute once for them. This is level seven. We got Dunker. This card is really good. This card, 2,500 attack. It deals piercing damage. So defense position, pierce right through. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you could destroy one card on the field. It's nice. That's good. If you get, get that damage through, Destroy anything. You could sacrifice him to destroy an onslaught. 
that's pretty much the core monsters. Now, I'll tell you the last one. I think this is a crappy one. Playmaker, I think he sucks. When you, when another UA monster declares an attack, so not even if it's being attacked, if it declares an attack, you could have this card lose 800 attack. If you do, the gaining monster, the attacking monster gains 800. So, two tribute for an effect that's just not that good. I wouldn't play it. I'd play Dunker, Rebounder, Slugger, Stadium, Penalty Box, and Midfielder. Okay? So, let me, let's do a quick mock-up build and test it out. What do I think the best way to play this is probably going to be with cyber style so i want you to think that any of my opening hands that uh i possibly have a cosmic cyclone instead and i could just tribute summon so let's see some let's do some random hand draws draw 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 like i mean we're set with this midfielder stadium search out your whole deck banish anything you know that's it that's it we can't activate stuff on attack uh also can destroy cards if our attack goes through a dunker rebounder could summon monsters from the graveyard i mean it's it's actually it's not so easy to get rebounder effect rebounder effect can be easy if you use mithra if you mithra and then you tribute for rebounder then you could actually get the rebounder effect of special summoning a monster from the hand or from the graveyard or you could play with a cosmic cyclone activate cyber style to make sure you could tribute with rebounder if you tribute for rebounder with cyber style boom you're pretty much set if you have any other ultra athletes so think about mithra think about soul exchange think about cosmic cyclone with cyber style that's the deck banish search gain 1000 when you special summon and the thousand is permanent 17 uh he goes up to 17 so good stuff